Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to do an action pose and this is a very ninja-like action pose but one that can also be utilized for different uh, uh, applications. It can be applied in different scenarios. So we're going to just determine a certain work area and put down some framework. If you have a pencil all set we're going to start with the shoulder set like that. So just that much apart. This one a bit larger than this because there is foreshortening that is going to be implied. And we have one nice bell shaped hand or you could put in an oval right there. So if you have that shape going, we have quite a bit nailed already so the body is like really deeply curved you could put a frame like that right on top and that is the lower part of the torso right behind there so one two circles for the delts and the shoulder set arm hand lower body area and the curvature of the back and that is what we need really to get this going. Now we have some different options that we can play with. In either case, we're going to put the head down right here. And he's, now the head could be looking straight or this is actually better if it's like slightly down. So eyes and nose I think they indicate that the person is like looking uh, down downward and then we go with some different options so the first one is hand right there nice and big but the rest of the body <coughs> going backward. The chest area right there, the ab, a bit of it can show going into the lower body and from there on we have extreme foreshortening again. We put a nice big knee out here. We put a smaller knee right there. So we can see already where this is headed, sort of, I think. It also has the uh, Spider-Man-esque feel to it, but not necessarily. So let's first begin by putting this very old grown thigh out of the way and this more reasonably but smaller thigh structure in the back. Shin and calf area right there. If you just do this, it's a very, and we have highlighted this in some of our other videos, uh, highlighting action poses. Just do this right below the thigh. If you want to do foreshortening, show extreme bending. It helps right away to give you a little sense of balance and a starting point. So what we are just doing is this, that we have the foot showing like that and right there we have the foot going right back as well and not really visible all that much the back just like that and now we can actually play around with certain features the delta has to just come all the way like this I think to make it more balanced so we could have one arm now if we really pull the shoulder back in the background, the other delt goes from here to here. And this is actually going to be really uh, helpful because this sort of pose can really work for this placement so that's one angle out of the way but 
should also have the arm stretched right back, leaving the delt right where it is and stretching the arm back. We'll also go like that. But in that case, sometimes you might have we might have to squint the anatomy here a little bit if we are highlighting it at all. And we can have the other arm just go. Part of that hand can be visible, or we could just leave it out. You just show that much, and it, it would it would it would still work. Or we could also. It's a lot of like things you can do with this. We could also have this delt brought here. In that case, the back gets flattened a little bit. This comes here, and we could just show a bit of the forearm. an open hand or a fist so either can work we'll put it in a fist to finish this off really looks good if we do this for characters like spider-man or characters like like nimble characters like nightwing spider-man or if we are even doing some casual pop culture practice or even practice in anatomy and extreme action poses it really works like a charm because this level of foreshortening and this extreme crunching action are the determining factors And getting the characters feel through in any sort of action scenario so that is our scenario right there the foot right there is not essential but it might as well be there or you could even foreshorten even more and bring the foot at that angle right up against the rest of the structure but that is up to us if you want to even or we could just fade out the leg like that in the background going down so different options there in this uh, particular post thank you for checking it out please subscribe keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day